Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Mass Divine Gaming's channel here and we're looking at Azumarill today. Azumarill is a water fairy and as we scroll down here we're going to be looking at stats. It's got 100 HP, 80 defense, and 80 special defense. That makes it a really nice tank, really all around good tank. It has 50 attack. We're going to look at some builds that are going to be physical sweepers as well as tanks. So we come down here and we're going to look at its weaknesses. Its weaknesses are poison, grass, and electric, two X's, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six resistances to dark, ice, water, fire, bug, and fighting with an immunity to dragon. So it actually works out really well. It's a really nice tank. So we're going to hop into Pokemon Showdown and see what it's going to be laid out here. Now we have uh, a belly drum set. That's the first one we're going to be looking at. We got 252 and 252 in attack and HP. So we're going to be 404 in HP and 218 in the attack. Now the reason we're going to be focusing on attack here, and it, even though it only has 50 base power attack, is because of huge power, where its attack stat is doubled. So if you have 218, it's going to be over 400 attack as Umarill is going to have with huge power. <coughs> now we're going to really exploit that even more with Belly Drum, where you lose half your HP and maximize your attack. So you're going to have an incredible amount of attack. And then you're going to go down to half. Citrus Fairy is going to proc, and it's going to get you back up to 75% of your health. So you're going to have a pretty nice size bulk, about 300 HP, even with Belly Drive going off. Then you're basically just going to go out and sweep from there. You'll have Aqua Jet. It usually goes first, so it has priority, so you can at least get that off on them. And if it's a neutral hit, it's still going to do quite a bit of damage. And even if you didn't want to go Aqua Jet, you could run Waterfall. If that's what you want, it has 80 base power, so it's double the power of Aqua Jet, but it doesn't have priority. So Aqua Jet's usually the go-to thing because at least you'll have priority at least on one move, and if you're down low on health, you'll at least get one more hit on them. <coughs> uh, you got Play Rough. Play Rough's your fairy. You're gonna have Stab as well as uh, 90 base power, and you can lower their attack as well, which could also help out. You know, and you have Ice Punch here, and that's just kind of for coverage. You can take out dragons, you can take out all sorts of things with Ice Punch, even though a Fairy can also do it. Ice Punch just has a lot of coverage, and it has 75 base power. So you're going to be doing quite a bit of damage with your huge power attack boost belly drum shenanigans. So we're going to be looking here at uh, more of a defensive set. This is pure defensive, so if you're reversing a def uh, an attacking Pokemon, this is a really nice set to use. And... Uh, Basically what you're going to want to do is run Sap Sipper. This gets rid of one of your weaknesses. Since one of your weaknesses is Grass, you actually can get Sap Sipper, which actually gives you Grass Immunity and can raise your attack by one. So basically what we're going to do here is just kind of stall them out. We have Aqua Ring and Leftovers, so you're going to be getting an eighth of your health back every turn, which is quite a bit, probably about 50 HP. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run Light Screen, and this is just for uh, <coughs> to really boost up your special defense. I mean, all of their uh, damage that they're going to do to you, defense, special defensively, can be uh, halved as well. So it can work out really well as being a dual tank. And then you have Scald and Toxic. Scald is basically there for uh, just burning them, and then uh, Toxic is there for poisoning. Scald's there just so you can't get taunted, and you can actually use it. And it has stab and it has 80 base power even though your special attack isn't the greatest it's still pretty decent and you can do some pretty good damage with it and you have a chance to burn and then you can also toxic them <laughs> if you get the burn off though it's really beneficial because then you're a really good defensive tank so we're hopping over here and we're going to look at an assault vest as a Muriel. basically we're going to be running huge power again and this time instead of running a belly drum we're going to have to run power up punch since assault vest is going to only allow you to use damaging moves uh, kind of a nice little set is to go fully defensive, defensive nature, have full HP again as much as you can, and then get special defense up to a nice even 200 because then Assault Vest is going to make it uh, 300. So you're actually going to have pretty even right there, pretty nice tankiness, as well as pretty high HP. So you're going to be able to survive a good couple hits. Power up punch once. Get your uh, attack going, and then a huge power is going to really start playing in there. You got waterfall play rough, and then you have knockoff. You can use ice punch or something as well, but knockoff is kind of just a nice way to get rid of some of the uh, items off the other Pokemon. So, but if you didn't want knockoff, you could run ice punch again. Ice punch is really just a really good coverage move. So. <coughs> That's Azumarill, and that gives you some ideas of what you can do, and let me know what you think. Leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.